Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts and to the US campaign where something unexpected has happened. This little Japanese fleet has obviously had a conquest mission and they've taken the Congo Free State, which completely ruins the Germans' plans. Uh, they're now stuck in Rwanda. Um, I don't think this offensive is going to work. I think we should be able to get in a peace deal. Um... Uh, but unfortunately, I clicked fight to the end because I thought the Germans were going to take it. So we have a little bit more of the uh, war to go on, uh, which means we can take some more stuff. Maybe get a bigger, bigger deal. Yeah, I don't, I don't fancy that one. I mean, I could do this one, but you, you've seen a lot of that kind of battle already. Uh, Omaha, Santa Fe class, sure. We haven't seen one of them in battle since they got refitted. Fine looking ship. If I say so myself. Right. Let's see what we can find. She's got the Biddle in tow. Nope. AI. Stop it. That don't be a ghost battle. That would be so disappointing. I think it is as well. I'll see you back on the map. All right, we've got a uh, mission to take Easter Island. We'll accept that. We should have something on the west coast, or if not, we should have something uh, around about somewhere <laughs> uh, that is free. I mean, we could probably just send a heavy cruiser to do it. Uh, let's send the Lexington. Oh, she's refitting. Of course she is. Um, right, let's have a quick look at the fleet tab instead. Because ideally, I would send a battleship. Let's see. Connecticut, Iron Hand, or Idaho. They're all over in China. Uh, yeah, they're all in the east. Um, okay, we want to send a battle cruiser then. Let's send the United States from Port Arthur. Shouldn't take it too long to arrive. Right, I did spot a German fleet hanging around over here, possibly to come and evacuate their forces that presumably we're going to move this way. The French are now trying to take the Congo Free State. Wow, hilarious chaos. The uh, eight standard ships we've got here, I'm just going to go over here and park them in the North Sea. Um, and then we can probably scrape together a battle cruiser squadron from Spain. Um, although I think some of them are refitting. So we'll let those finish. Yeah, two months. Uh, and then we'll move them into the Baltic. That should force the Germans to surrender, I would have thought. You would hope so. But the French aren't at war with the Japanese. That's very weird. Hmm. Well, okay. Yeah, Soviet's next for us, I'm pretty sure. Probably annoyed about us being allied with Lithuania. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, welcome back. Omaha 
has found some targets that are not running away from her. I assume this was going to be a ghost battle, so I didn't stand off. There's two, I think, two light cruisers and a destroyer. We also have Etendar and Healy helping out. That's a good, solid hit. Yeah, torps. Wow, look at that. Just as, as soon as I launch, just, they just turn around. <laughs> a lot of torpedoes fired. Seeing many going in a promising direction. It's hard to tell with the smoke, of course. Smoke. The uh, mist. Ooh. Healy. Uh... Smoke. Just keep going that way. Get in, uh, yeah, you can continue to follow. Oh, 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 didn't see those. Uh, damn. I mean, one was a dud, which helps. Hopefully the game did not have the little uh, alert thingy on them. Right, it's like the Nymph and the Destroyer already. Ow. Leave the poor Etendar alone. Home heart still very accurate, despite the uh, flooding and damage. Set in. Slowly. Yeah, there we go. Since she turned just very vulnerable to the high explosive and sunk. Okay, a little bit messy. Um, annoyed I took that top, but uh, otherwise fine. Still a victory. Okay, something weird's going on. I've got a thing on Algeria, but I'm pretty sure that's also... No, it's not held by the French. Okay, they're actually trying to attack Senegal. This attack disappeared pretty quick. I think what happened was France got a mission to take Congo Free State, and then Japan took it, and then it took a turn for it to get cancelled. Right, what have we got here? Aha! The Schleswig-Holstein... We've, uh, I've seen this mentioned, but we've not actually seen it in combat. Uh, we've got Long Beach and Rocket, plus the Quincy, and a heap of destroyers, some of which are goodness knows what. Um, but there are a couple of David RAs from Sweden. So we've got some throwaway destroyers we can use as well. Very nice. Well, Long Beach uh, knows what she's doing. <laughs> uh, so does the rocket. Hmm. Okay. So, Long Beach, rocket, you're already set to follow. Good. Speed 18. Quincy. Quincy. I think I'll probably have you follow the rocket. And then if we find the actual destroyers that I want. So we've got... Yeah, that's a David R. Ray. And so is that one. Reed and John W. Thomason. Uh, I want you to screen the battleship, please. The rest of you are going to be in a tank squadron. Because I don't really mind if we lose you. This must be French. 
Interesting. What are the French rocking with? Mark 4 5.5 inch guns. Uh, some 22 inch electric torpedoes. Fascinating. Uh, caution. This is a really old Russian thing. Possibly. Maybe Austrian. I have no, no, no idea. Old French. Old something. French. Okay. Well. Yeah, sure. <laughs> have, have fun, you lot. Right. Let's have a look at the Schleswig Holstein. Oh, that's not, uh, it's not bad. I would have preferred to have seen a uh, fourth main turret given that it's running 14-inch guns. I'm assuming Mark 3s. Should be able to get get it from the shoot info. Eventually. Nope, disappeared. So I very much want to uh, distract them, slash take out the enemy uh, destroyers with the destroyer force I have here. Oops, off. You can induce them to shoot us. We'll take them out. Oh, that's good. There goes Thronda. I'm not expecting these guys to last very long. She did fire torpedoes, though. Whoa! And uh, induce the enemy to fire theirs. Which is the most important thing. Because that dramatically lowers the chance that they're going to come in my general direction, although... could potentially be annoying for the rocket. Should be able to speed past them. Oh, torpedo, lovely. Excellent stuff. Love it. Rocket to accelerate and turn away. Destroyers down. Long Beach standing up to it. Let's have a look at you. Mark twos. Wow. Okay, so an older ship has okay armor, apart from that aft belt and superstructure. Rocket, how are you doing avoiding those torpedoes? I think you probably have avoided them. You can slow down a bit. I see that. I still see them there. I don't think they have the range. That's another destroyer. That's fine. Okay, we can build them some replacements. There we go. Fire control damage. That's what happens when you have zero superstructure armor, I guess. Heavy. 
heavy increased cordite picric. That's that's a very high risk uh, setup. We are here. Six. Go through 14 inches of armor. Mm, well, they do have 16. Ow! Pull back. AP. There we go. Shattered them with that salvo. Yeah, I don't know why they were insisting on sticking with the high explosive. Expect them to switch it up when they got a bit, got a good broadside like that. Uh, ugh, when they took the hits of their own, they decided to say, "All right, we'll respond now." <laughs> yeah, that is enormous damage. A lot of those shots going forward. 0.3% structure. Goodness me. The flooding will get it. It's whether it gets it before it fires another shot or not. Oh, they've got angle problems. And fire. <laughs> Which will get it first. Structure of flooding. <laughs> flooding. Now, Long Beach took a bit of a battering there. But, uh, Long Beach is worth 500 million. This thing, 1.2 billion. So, we did pretty well out of that. Uh, Rocket not really getting to contribute too much. Basically, that one salvo from Long Beach that did it. And all of the foreign-built destroyers gone. <laughs> Good way of clearing out our ally stocks, I guess. Ah, there we go. Peace at long last. Right. Let's see what we can get in the peace deal. We can also have a look at the ships. So they got... That must be the one of the, an older ship. We got two super battleships left. That's it. Okay, we'll take Rwanda. Do I want to try and take Heligoland? Ah, screw it. We'll ask for it. Hey, hey. <laughs> love it. Um, <laughs> yeah, can have those. Okay. Well, uh, Easter Island should uh, finish a couple of months. Uh, I'm going to have to sort out what, where all the fleet is going. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to that's gonna really kind of cause Germany some problems. Right, I'm going to go sort the fleet out, um, figure out what's going on, reconfigure everything, and uh, I'll see you in a couple of months. All right, there we go. Easter Island has successfully been taken at Senegal. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, fleet is in New York, which is now such a large uh, port that it can uh, accept all of them. That should be enough, I think. Um, don't think they'll need any assistance with that. I probably should just get the uh, get the all the 14 inch ships together in like an invasion fleet because that is what they're going to be or probably all the standards eventually actually because that is probably what they're going to be most useful at doing uh, a few of them are repairing <laughs> oh that is all the 14s apart from the ones they're repairing uh, oh no it's not uh, we've got uh, Long Beach, which is getting repaired after its fight with the Germans. We've got Long Beach as well. 
Uh, where is Idaho? Hi, Chow. Go grab her from there. Just to keep those ships together. Uh, how's this going? 28%. All right. How are things looking economy-wise? We're approaching the 1 trillion mark, which is good. So we're catching up to France quite rapidly, especially because our... Look at, look at it, Italy, dark horse of this campaign. Have they just not had any wars? They've got an enormous fleet. That could be. That's going to be very interesting. Britain has a tiny fleet. Mind you, they have, they're at war with France, <laughs> which is an extremely bad situation to be in. That's the British. Um, yeah, it looks like the Soviets, maybe Germany. If Germany's army logistics drops at any point, um, for instance, when they're in a war with Austria, uh, we might be able to eliminate them once and for all by uh, invading eastern Germany and then letting the army take the rest, but... It is, it is very difficult to pull off. It is doable, though. I'm also going to move... Before I forget, I'm going to move a destroyer over there. The Biddle, I think. Just so that we have someone keeping an eye on those uh, on those Germans. Right. Um, the next thing, building-wise, I'm just waiting on getting the Mark V 2-inch guns uh, so that we can refit our heavy cruisers. I'm also going to put... A Priority into big guns, because I would really like to get the Mark V 10-inch to build our next class of heavy cruiser, which I think is the next thing we should start uh, constructing. Hey, look who's back for one turn. <laughs> China has reappeared. They will disappear again, uh, because they have no ports. They'll dissolve next turn. Um, yep, that's 100%. That's fantastic. Will we get there before the French? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Um, okay. Uh, well, I think it is time to refit the bridge ports. Nearly 10 years since they were built. Do, do, do. Design is taking a while, right? Refits. Oh, they get these these types of turrets as well, do they? Okay. It's not a huge. I, I, this is a light cruiser model for me. Even even on an eight inch gun, it looks a bit weird. What does it look like as a triple? Uh, it doesn't look quite right as a. It looks okay as a quad. Weirdly, I would say. The quad. Looks okay. But, uh, yeah, not a fan of it. Not a fan of those. Anyway, we don't have to put up with them for long. Um, 8 inch. Let's go 50s. Let's lengthen the 4 inch guns to 38. Uh, can we add some. Two inch AA type guns. Yeah, we can. Which is the reason I've been waiting on those. Because the, the Mark Fives are so tiny, you can fit them in. Let's make them. Uh, let's make them. 1.6s. <laughs> okay, 40 millimeter. Um, just for funsies. They also fire stupidly fast when you do that. Uh, 47 rounds a minute. <laughs> um, I'm not missing any slots, am I? No. Cool. Right. Well, uh, no radar yet, but we can upgrade your rangefinder. Uh, turrets and reloads. Shells, propellant, armor, quality, and uh, layout. I'll probably leave them on anti-top three for now. Just need 
some anti-torp. Oh, we saved quite a lot by going with a geared turbine. Uh, this was also the one that I should have put on a... Changed the boilers for anyway. Yeah, force is too much. We'll just run them on a balanced. That's fine. Um, and then layers, I guess. I'll do a reasonable, a reasonable upgrade for them, I think. Um, just to make them a little bit more effective, but I think we could, I think we can make something a lot nicer as a heavy cruiser. Um, I don't want, I really want to go ten inch because uh, if you remember, if anyone watching remembers my last American campaign, we built a ten inch heavy cruiser that absolutely dominated everything. So. Uh, yeah, I'll see you well, probably a year, perhaps, to get that tech unlocked. But uh, won't be here for you. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. We've got a new hull, the Fast Scout Cruiser. Uh, and a whole bunch of new destroyers, but um, I, I'm not going to have a. I'm not in a destroyer mood, although we should soon get the F Mark 5 5 inch, which is when we'll probably start that. Um, do I wait for the Mark? I, th I probably will wait for the Mark Five Six Inch before designing a new cruiser. But I do want to see the hull, um, or hulls uh, that we've unlocked because it helps me plan things out. There's no rush. Um, at the moment, in uh, you tend to unlock hulls long before you actually kind of want to use them. Uh, so yeah, we've got we've got a ton of destroyers. We haven't done anything on the standard, the leader, the compact, the advanced. Uh, this is the new cruiser. Oh, yes, I like that cruiser. We haven't done anything on the modern light cruiser 2 either. Ah, given that we haven't done anything on the modern light cruiser 2, which I think is bigger, isn't it? Yeah, this is like a little cruiser. Do you know what? Screw it. Let's, let's build something on this because this is kind of a weird kind of intermediate cruiser. Um, that is f fast. Uh, um, yeah, if we make it all about the speed, I'm going to use cheapest tower possible because I know what these hulls are like. Um, and then... Hmm... Possibly that tower. Hmm. I think that one actually looks more balanced. Go with that one. Funnels. That'll fit an advanced gun funnel, but that won't be enough, I don't think have to go steam turbines almost certainly wow it very nearly is enough what if we went at 35 knots yeah let's go 35 with a single funnel that's that's crazy i'm loving that uh hmm Maybe yeah, maybe I use maybe use this no 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 that's just too big. Yeah, we'll use uh, the advanced targeting tower. Keep that citadel nice and compact. Uh I think because it is a small ship, and also because I'm not a huge fan of this style of gun. I'm gonna use fives. I'm gonna use five inch triples. It's gonna be a bit like an Atlanta. In that it's gonna use the five inch thirty-eights, of which we have many and I do see this as more of a dis like enormous destroyer <laughs> um, masquerading as like the 5 inch gun should be should be uh, perfectly usable for this um, I think Oh, 
probably if we have then two at the back what mind you if I'm gonna do two at the back oh yeah this didn't fit did it oh it does fit yeah, 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 yeah. Two at the back. Torpedo launcher. Just a lot of dacker on this thing. I can fit a couple of two inch. Well, they're going to be one. They're going to be forty millimeter. Uh, bofers, effectively. Yeah, this thing just uh, liberally spread around, maybe as a destroyer leader, escort cruiser, AA cruiser type of thing. Um, although AA cruisers are not a thing in this game because um, there are no planes. Um, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. Right. TNT4. Yeah, we stick with the tube powder. I like our safety. Very slightly overweight, but that's fine until we get to the armor, of course, because uh, it doesn't come with any. Um, 160. How much could we fit on here? Five inch, five inch would be amazing. We don't need the deck armor that thick. Point. Lower that. In fact, we can probably go 0 0.5, 0 0.2. Go quite minimal on that. Uh. Go, yeah, let's go five. Oh, it can only fit 3.8 on the turret. Fine, let's go three. Uh, let's lower the main belt to three as well. We'll rely on the layers. Because that one inch inner belt doesn't look like much, but that's effectively an eight inch belt. <laughs> uh, ship is overweight. Of course it is. For what reason? Engines and boilers. Plus the towers. Hmm. But I like those towers. Mind you, I can't get a cheaper tower than that. How, what is the weight difference? Oh, it is like 300 tons. Okay. Let's, let's go with my original idea of using this tower. And a dual gun barbet. It's not quite as uh, cool. Why can I not have those touching? I don't know. Oh, if it's that's supposed to fit a 1.6 in there. Okay, well, we'll not have that. We'll just have that as the searchlight. Um, can move this back. See, yeah, now I'm underweight and have the same firepower. Lovely. Well, I think that's it. <laughs> it's just, yeah. I mean, they're pretty expensive. For a destroyer leader. But then again we are getting into the expensive region of things i mean they're, they're, they're only slightly more than a trenton which is our current like uh light cruiser six inch light cruiser so they're actually not too bad although you might be sitting there going oh my god that's that's a lot of money for a light cruiser yeah they get expensive when you try and make ships go this fast but that is throwing out an awful lot of Anti-destroyer firepower. I think they'll struggle against another light cruiser, though. Um, but mainly this is for 
keeping capital ships safe, shooing away destroyers, that kind of thing. Um, and they, they, they do have some torpedoes just, just in case they need to do something. Yeah, I like them. All all metal design as well. <laughs> I I do quite like the all metal. You know, no no fat, no time to fit the the deck plates, uh, or the deck teak. Right. Uh, well, that's a nice one. Uh, let's see how many of these we can build. Uh, I decided to build twenty one of these. Uh, I'm going to have to rename that one because we do actually have a Manchester, another Manchester somewhere. Uh, if you'd like to uh, name your own light cruiser, just get in touch. Uh, mind you, I'm not sure if I assigned one of the names in my list. I was just looking over to it. No, I did. So if you'd like a light cruiser, let me know. We've got more of them. <laughs> These little, little titty ones. But I still, I still think they'll do. I still think they'll do good stuff. Right, uh, research. What are we getting next? Mark three eighteens. Yeah, we've got to get the Mark three eighteen, nineteen, and twenties, and then we might get the tens either in the middle of that or afterwards. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, we finished our destroyer designs. Cool. Um, so we have access to all the destroyers we could possibly want in the entire world. Uh, I think once we get Mark Fives, we'll just churn out a whole bunch of destroyers. Um, oh, well, will we? Well, we'll probably build one and then get like radar or something and churn out some more. But uh, yeah, we're going to have lots and lots and lots of destroyers. <laughs> there we go. Finally got the uh, Mark IV 10 inch. I'm going to take that uh, research priority off just to keep our research balanced. Um, we failed to get Senegal on the last turn as well. The French just just grabbed it. But it looks like we're going to get Northern Algeria and French Guinea. Um, so not too terrible. Uh, other than that, not a huge amount going on. Italy is still romping away with a massive, massive fleet. British struggling. Uh, our economy has passed a trillion. Very exciting. We're closing in on the French, although their economy has uh, jumped up again. Uh, all the others kind of struggling. Although Germany is starting to recover. Starting to recover. Uh, no one seems to really be hating us right now. Uh, so it's all this kind of... Uh, minor stuff. Uh, let's get designing a new cruiser. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this will be the Modern Heavy Cruiser 3. I don't know what's happened to the Modern Heavy Cruiser 2. Uh, where's the Modern Heavy Cruiser 2, guys? Oh, dear me. Right. We can make these enormous if we wish. But the main thing that's going to do it for me is what tower? 16, 17, 18. I'm not getting too much. I could use the smaller tower, but it's not that much smaller. Might as well use the modern two. Which is, I think, the same width. Right. How much can we reduce the beam by and get away with it. 0.3, uh, sorry, 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%, yeah, keep going, 7, 8, 8, I think actually is pushing it. I, th I think 5 was just about right. Yeah, there we go. I'll go minus 5% there. We'll go for a full 20,000 ton. That's an enormous heavy cruiser. Um, this is a proper, actual, heavy, heavy cruiser. It's annoying that there's a gap between them. Uh, is there a way to avoid that? Yeah, there we go. 
Oh, and it's still a gap, but it's less noticeable. Falls. Uh, wow, those give you 55. Mind you, hang on. What is the funnel cap per ton? 32 divided by 176 is 0.18. And these are 55 divided by 368. 0.14. So these are actually better. If I just went with. Oh, they're not evenly faced, spaced. Mind you, I might be able to get away with two. Depending on the speed. Uh, let's try and do 30. We have reduced the beam a little. So it might be doable. Uh, oil to two. I'm assuming this turbines are going to be our best. Pfft, no, we're even close. Yeah, we need, unfortunately, we need that third funnel. Even though it's not evenly spaced and it does look a bit weird. Um, I mean, I could I could just have one at two of those if I'm worried about aesthetics. It is a little bit, or not. No, I can't have two of those. Screw it. Three of these. Um, ten inch triples. They are unfortunately the ugly guns, being the Mark Fours. But, if we go for three of them, three triples, and then ton, five inch. Um, I might not, five inch might be too big. Maybe I might have to use fours. Yeah, it's these upper ones that are causing me problems. Uh, maybe we just go straight down to the twos. I know those are American designs, but I can fit more on if I use the triples. More gun is, is good. Uh, especially if we make these 40 mils. Uh, does that mean I can squeeze these in here now? Hmm, no, sadly. Do all of these work? Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> someone <laughs> said there was a plane <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go for 10 inch 50s. Should give them a pretty decent range and punching power. But I still see this as a more kind of... I'm expecting these to get into scraps, so we'll stick with our tube powder safety conscious build. We're very slightly over before doing the arm starboard weight offset. Huh? Uh, oh. Why is there a starboard weight offset? Aha! 
this gun. Not being mirrored on the other side. Mmm, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so much AA. <laughs> totally under three. Although if it gets in range of some transports, it will completely obliterate them. Uh, right. Armour. Thing is, we've not deployed a 10-inch gun before. Uh, given their accuracy and what's their max range at the moment? Blanking where it tells me that. There we go, 21. So we're probably not going to be getting much closer than 10,000 meters, which means I think eight, eight inches of main belt. For the extended bits, 1.5 seems fine. For the deck, probably 1.5 uniform, maybe two. Uh, turrets, 10 would be plenty. Uh, and that brings me underweight as well. Uh, uh. Yeah, let's go for something like that and then just Max out the deck layers. And uh, I think we're done. I think we're done. Uh, not the Colorado. This is going to be the return of the Detroit class. A class that absolutely terrorized everything. I mean, they're very expensive. They're more expensive than a one of our battleships. It's not the Mon not a refitted Montana, but they're about the same price as a refitted main class battleship. Um, they're not cheap, but uh, good gravy. That's a massive leap in power from what we were previously using in the heavy cruiser slot. Almost no compromise on them either. They've got speed, they've got range. They have protection. They have an awfully huge amount of firepower. They don't have a kind of medium secondary battery. Um, but I find on a heavy cruiser in particular, something like a 10-inch gun is perfectly capable of hitting even destroyers, actually. Um, and all this stuff can be used to defend yourself if you get swarmed. What's the range on these? Seven. So they're not going to hit something in before they get a torpedo off. But then again, neither is a 5-inch gun. So doesn't really matter. And yeah, if you just sail into the middle of a bunch of transports, they're going to dissolve very, 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 very quickly. Right, I want as many of these as I can possibly build. Decided to uh, build 15 Uh some of which desperately need renamed. Um, so if you uh, happen to want to buy one of these cruisers so they don't have a weird name, then uh, yeah, let me know. Sign up on Patreon at, oh crumbs, I forget which tier it is, but the one that gives you a heavy cruiser tells you on Patreon. Or you can sign up as a YouTube member at the heavy cruiser captain tier or higher. Um going on in the rest of the world. Yeah, I think war with the Soviets, maybe with the Germans again. We'll have to wait and see. But next thing on the building agenda might be actually getting... Uh, oh, there's the modern heavy cruiser too. More heavy cruisers. <laughs> Possibly an 8-inch. Because um, I know that holds slightly smaller. Uh, oh, we have the modern battleship one. Oh, I didn't spot that. Finally. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's have a quick look at it. That might be in the next episode. What did the 16-inch guns look like when they're Mark... Th uh, we got Mark 3s at the moment, haven't we? It's just those Mark 4s are really ugly. <laughs> so, uh, 
Yes. Okay, Pat. Perfect. We can start building our modern battleship fleet. Oh, no, it is these ones. With the Mark III. Is it the Mark IV that I get the well, the ones that don't look silly? Hmm. Do I wait for the Mark IV or do I get them under construction now? I mean, they'll take 16 months to build. And we're we're going to have four, basically, versions of our modern battleship. Hmm. Do I wait for the Mark IVs? I think I should. I think I should wait for the Mark IVs. I, th I, th I think I should concentrate on cruises for now. Um, but that means I should probably prop the priority back on the uh, back on the big guns because we've, we've unlocked Mark IV to ten inch. So now we want to get Mark IV, uh, well, fourteen and sixteen. Uh, get the modern battleships constructing. Get our, our old standard class refitting. Um, and prepare for the next big fight because I feel one's coming along even though it doesn't look like it I reckon we're going to go war with France or Italy at some point uh, do, 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 do. research big guns right that's enough for today I think thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple bye for now